Today's episode was hosted by Einstein HR. It's located in Duluth, Georgia. Thank you. Albert Einstein once said, if you can't explain it to a six-year-old, you don't understand it yourself. But what about a 12-year-old? Harrison Ramsey, H, is on a mission to eradicate meaningless business speak and wants to know what the guest does for a living. If the guest clearly describes their craft or job, they win. If not, they'll have time to further explain and will know that they need to hone in their pitch. So my name's Cindy Lynch. I'm a management consultant with 620 Partners. We work with uh, senior business leaders and CEOs and helping what they do, do better. I'm here to face the H. Not a person that usually gets nervous, but I have to say I'm feeling a little nervous. I'm Harrison. Hi Harrison, I'm Cindy. Nice Good to meet you. Good to meet you. So what is your job? What I do is help CEOs keep score and improve their score. How do they keep score? So for well, that's a good question. It kind of depends. So um, I know that you like soccer. How do you keep score in soccer? Goals. Mm -hmm. How does um, baseball team keep score? Touchdown or home runs. Yeah. So a um, how do you think McDonald's keeps score? By the income. Yeah, by hamburgers and food that they sell. Mm -hmm. So however a company keeps score, I can help them increase that. I can help them score more. How? How do I do that? How I do it is important, but I want to talk a little bit about the why. So in looking at some of your videos, I did notice that you like soccer, so I have to riff on that a little bit. Okay. One of my sons played soccer, and his favorite team was Chicago Fire. Do you have a favorite team? Yes. And which one? Barcelona. Barcelona. My daughter said, thought you might say that. So what you do is you help CEOs of companies improve their score. Yes, exactly. So why? Why do you do this job? I, I do this job because I really, I really love this job. Um, is there been a team or something that you've been involved in that you, you just loved it, you couldn't wait to be involved in it? Mm -hmm. And it's a great feeling. It is. Right? Mm -hmm. It's like if you wanted to be on a famous soccer team, what would it be? Barcelona. Yeah. And if you imagined yourself being on that team, what, what do you imagine? Crowds screaming when you walk up the stairs yeah. to get onto the field. And how would you feel inside? Scared. <laughs> but I bet you'd be excited. You'd be <laughs> like, this is where I want to be. This is so what I want to do, right? And you're excited. And when you're excited about what you're doing, you do your best. Mm -hmm. And when CEOs have a bunch of people on their team doing their best, they tend to win. They tend to win games. Mm -hmm. So CEOs are all about scoring more. That's what makes them successful. Do you know what CEO is? Uh, I don't know what it abbreviates for, but I do know it's like, here's the owner and here's the CEO and here's the employee. Right. Sometimes the CEO and the owner can be the same person, but they're in, they're in business to do something. They're in business to score. So again, whether it's selling the hamburgers or selling um, TVs or providing a service for people, they know what they're doing to keep score. Mm -hmm. yes. And that and that sounds easy, right? Kind of, yes. But it's not really easy. And why why is it not easy? Um, because you gotta be able to keep the score. You gotta yeah. be able to And how do you keep the score? What does it take? Effort. Effort. It takes effort from people. And that's a lot of times where the problem comes in. The CEO has ideas of what he wants to do and he knows the job that needs to be done, but he can't do it all. So he has to have players that can do it and that's where it gets complicated and that's where, that's the problem that I solve for them. So how do I do that? There's several little things I do. One of the things I do is I give everyone a little two, two uh, question survey and it comes back and I get this little squiggly line. And from this little squiggly graph, I can tell what you like to do, what kind of jobs you're gonna like, what kind of jobs you're not gonna like. I can tell what things are gonna stress you out. How? How? This survey, the information on the survey tells me that. From two questions? From two questions. What are the two questions? I can't tell you, that's a secret. You'll have to take the survey. Okay. But when I have that information and I understand what you're good at, what you want to do, and what's important to you, I can make sure that you always have that 
feeling of I'm here to win and I'm excited to be on this team. I'm going to put you in a job that you love mm -hmm. and that's going to help win games, right? Yes, ma'am. But it takes more than people. What else does on it? What else do you need on a team? You need effort. Effort. What else? Do you, you need hard work? You, and the person that kind of helps you do that is your coach or your manager. So this little squiggly graph that I have, I also work, help managers understand how to motivate their players. You know, some players need a lot of pats on the back. They need that encouragement. Some people need a lot of technical drill training. Some people need that kick in the rear end to make them go. So when you understand what the person needs, you're going to help get the most out of them. And that's kind of what a coach's job is. So what is your business called? Is it your business or do you work for business? Or? I have a partner, I have a business partner. Her name's Rhonda Holloway and we're 620 partners. That's the? That's the name of our business. Okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, it was a great conversation. Thank you. Thank you. I, th I felt she did good in the first minute back. I knew what she did within the first minute. She had time to explain everything. She connect connected it with soccer, which I do like because I'm a soccer fan. I think that I could have explained what she did without her finishing what she was about to say because she finished it. She is a person that helps uh, CEOs or owners to score better in their company, no matter if that's selling things, if that's getting a winning football team. It doesn't really matter what it is. She's just that person who goes in and helps them. She helps companies build their profit. She has this survey, it's a two-question survey, and then they answer it, and this squiggly line comes back to her. And she can just tell by what that is of what they like by coaching, whether it's coaching or owner-wise, or how they intake, working harder, effort, stuff like that. Um, I think that her companies can help a lot, and more companies can help from Rhonda, her partner, and her. and just benefit from her and I think she did a great job on the show. Thank you Cindy for facing me today. So I was nervous about it. Um, I've, been, I've been in my business for eight years and, I, and I've always struggled with taking a pretty complex situation or what I do and to try to make it something simple. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to try to tighten that up and make it a little crisper and clearer. Um, I feel like a lot of times I talk to people about what I do and I know they walk away with what is it that she does? So I really want to create a message that people can remember what I do. So I, it was a challenge. It was a, it was a big challenge. And, I, and, and having the lights and the camera made it much more difficult. Um, the expectation, I think where I messed up is I tried to anticipate the questions that he might ask. And not good. It, it got a le little easier. Um, I'm, you know, I wasn't 100% sure. I felt like he was in the moment with me is really tracking with what I was saying or really interested in what I was saying and what I really wanted to do was to create interest for you know he's 12 years old and I thought if I could keep the interest of a 12 year old then I could keep the interest of adult so I'm not sure I really kept him engaged it causes me to go back again and look at what I'm saying you know how can I tighten that message up um, and he talked to some other young people and try to explain what I do and, and so again so people really understand what I do and people will remember me I want people to remember me and remember what I do thanks H for having me hello everybody this is H if you like this video please subscribe um, the next video is right here and the previous video is right here thank you